Thomas owns a gym in Treforest. He's a former bodybuilder. During his 20s, he used steroids as part of his training program, and he hasn't ruled out using them again. I know strange uh, sort of use of them as I was competitive. I've competed most of my life on and off. It's been probably four years plus since I trained properly in the gym. Uh, as a bodybuilder, it's a different ball game. Uh, but I know the importance of doing cardiovascular training as well as doing uh, training with weights. My body will adapt then quite quickly then to use the steroids. My body will grow a little bit better and a little bit quicker. Using steroids is perfectly legal, but there's a huge stigma attached to taking the drugs. Many, including this man who we'll call Dean, would only speak to us if we disguised their identity. Due to some of the negative stereotypes associated with steroid use, um, if I had chosen to go full face, it could have been potentially damaging to my future career. Anabolic steroids are synthetic versions of the natural hormone testosterone. Injected or taken orally, they build muscle and strength, accelerating a fitness regime. I've been using steroids for between three and four years on and off. Um, I started when I was 29 and I'm 33 now. Um, certainly there was a, a vanity component involved. I wanted um, a little bit more muscle. Uh, I thought that would uh, impress the ladies and make the, the guys a little bit more uh, envious. Um, but that's, you know, vanity of youth, I suppose. There was also, though, a strong performance-related component. Um, I like to train very hard, very intensely, and steroids facilitate um, enhanced recovery. So I could train harder more times per week. Perfect. Like an increasing number of men in South Wales, Chris Phillips is a steroid user. Unlike others, he agreed to speak to us openly. Well, I started training, like I said, around when I was 20. Um, the more I trained, the more I enjoyed it. You know, and I chose to go down that route. It's not something I do all the time. It's just you, know, you have a good break from it, but it helps you go up to the next level. They help you, obviously, with strength. Um, yeah, it just uh, obviously we, it gets your strength up, and you should build muscle. And as long as you eat right, train, sleep, rest, you know, it's not just the steroids that make you grow overnight. It's, it's everything you, know, you eat, sleep, and train. The steroids, you know, they play a, a minor role, but it does help you achieve what you want to achieve. Taking steroids can have a dramatic effect on a man's physique. There's a huge temptation to use the drugs as a shortcut to the perfect body. In a society obsessed by looks, the pressure's on men like never before. We like a nice build. Yeah, we like a nice build. We don't like skin. Um, quite toned, thin but quite toned, not too muscly. Do you go for the muscly look? Well, it depends. No, I'm not just going to be... not going to like someone just because they're muscly. Much of the stigma about steroids comes from the fact they're banned in most sports. But in the real world, it's not that black and white. Now, it's got to be said, the law on steroids is pretty complicated. It's legal to buy them, it's legal to possess them, and it's legal to use them. But it's illegal to sell them or even give them to anybody else. You are allowed to go abroad and bring them back into the country, providing they are for personal use. But if you can't go abroad, it's actually really easy to buy steroids on the internet. Doctors do prescribe steroids for medical reasons, but they're not available to buy over the counter. Um. They're easily available over the internet, you know, but uh, people choose to get it from certain places, internet, you know, abroad. Fortunately, a friend of mine suggested a website. I must have paid about £600 for my first full cycle, and although it was worth it, because I experienced excellent results and no side effects, I can't help but feel that £600 was a lot of money for what I wanted to achieve. Steroid use is largely underground, but the University of Glamorgan has been studying use of the drugs in the South Wales Valleys for more than 15 years. The supply of these drugs are quite easy. They're 
uh, of all of our, in our survey, 95% of the people who were taking the drugs had no problems at all in acquiring them. Whether or not they're acquiring what they think they are uh, is another argument. Buying steroids over the internet is like playing Russian roulette. Often, you just don't know what you're getting. Counterfeit drugs or fakes pose a huge risk to health. We heard they're a big problem in South Wales and decided to investigate ourselves. Right. Just typed the word steroids into the search engine on this computer and yeah, there are stacks and stacks of sites offering to sell me steroids and human growth hormones and other drugs that are used to counteract the effect of steroids. So, what we're going to do is buy some just to see how easy it is and what we get sent. Injecting steroids is a risky business. It's not unusual for users to suffer side effects like this. One hospital in the valleys has reported a growing number of young men needing treatment for abscesses in the muscle like these. We realised last year we were having a lot, so when we looked, I think, the first quarter of the year, we had about 15 cases of abscesses from injection. What people do is that they generally inject the, these uh, steroid preparations directly into their muscles from which they're absorbed into the body. The uh, injection sites commonly become infected and sometimes you get abscess formation within the muscle which is a collection of pus. And that, that then needs to be surgically removed and those are the patients that we commonly see. And doctors say taking steroids is playing Russian roulette with your health. When you buy them off the internet, how do you really know what you're injecting into your body? They expect a sting from the, from the good stuff, and so aftershave is something which is quite capable of doing that. So I understand that some of these have been doctored with aftershave and things of this sort. I mean, if they're going to, if they're going to um, uh, uh, manufacture these things with a load of rubbish, I think we really do have to, we need to... Take, very, take that very seriously because it could, it could make somebody really ill. I mean, as you say, I, I don't know what they put into them, olive oil and things of this sort. We've discovered it costs the NHS roughly £2,000 to treat each steroid user with a severe muscle abscess. These are self-inflicted, they're avoidable, whereas, you know, your elderly lady that slipped trying to get her milk off the doorstep or something, you know, that's, that's an unavoidable thing and... Uh, and so to see some patients sometimes wait because we have to treat other things like muscle abscesses, which are serious in their own right but avoidable, can be frustrating. Many in the bodybuilding community also feel frustrated. They think a worrying number of youngsters are misusing steroids. I consider safe, educated, responsible use of steroids to be steroid use. Um, unfortunately, there does appear to be a growing subset of the younger male population that believes they can take steroids for a quick fix. They, they're not prepared to put in the education and research and learning necessary to do a safe, responsible cycle of steroids. In short, they are immature and irresponsible, and I would call them abusers of steroids. Fitness fanatics like Dean and Chris Phillips are insistent that you can use steroids safely, a view that flies in the face of accepted medical opinion. You do it for a certain amount of weeks, you stop for at least the amount of time that you're doing it, and then if you choose you can do it again, but you know, as long as you do it right then you won't have a problem. These days men are under just as much pressure to look good as women are. We've discovered that for the new generation of steroid users, it's all about image. It's not about looking like Arnold Schwarzenegger or Sylvester Stallone anymore. It's simply about looking good. Taking steroids can seem very appealing. They can give definition. We've discovered that for the new generation of steroid users, it's all about image. It's not about looking like Arnold Schwarzenegger or Sylvester Stallone anymore. It's simply about looking good.
Taking steroids can seem very appealing. Push it real good. Push it. They can give definition to a man's physique without him spending as many hours training in the gym. But those using the drugs as a shortcut are frowned upon by the bodybuilding community. They feel it's giving their sport a bad name and, perhaps ironically, that it's cheating. And then you've got a, a sector also of, of young lads. They want to look pretty good, take steroids to do so. They also think they're pretty much invincible, pretty much indestructible, and uh, this is where you're going to get problems. Twenty-one-year-old Joe Binley doesn't use steroids. He trains hard seven days a week, and he's irritated by boys who take shortcuts to look good. You see them in the gym a few times a week, and then out on a night out, the tight T-shirts on, marching around like they own the place, because they've got a little bit of size behind them, eager that goes with it, and go out and just cause me and we think that. But... Uh, you know, they're easy to pick out, and you'll see them a few months later, and their appearance will change. So. According to a recent BBC survey, young men are now just as concerned about... I think we're living in a society now where, you know, we have to look good. And so I think a lot of these people, they, 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 they tend to lose their, their self-esteem. They, they can't reach the standards that society is demanding of them, so they look to other ways to do this. And so you get the anorexic woman and the bigger exit man. And so uh, th these people are extremes of what we're trying to achieve. While experts agree that low self-esteem is fairly common amongst steroid users, very few will actually admit it. We spoke to one man, a self-confessed bigger exit, who we'll call John. The way I see it is that when I've got this theory about getting slim and skinny or whatever, men have got the same thing, the opposite way around. They want to get big. And a lot of men are not happy with the size or the shape they are. The thing is, women have been stereotyped for such a long time for losing weight. And men, are just men, they just don't see men worried about things like that. But they're far from it. Men are worried about the way they look and how big they are. And a lot of men are not happy with the size or the shape they are. The thing is, women have been stereotyped for such a long time for losing weight. And men, no, just men, they just don't see men worried about things like that, but they're far from it. Men are worried about the way they look and how big they are. But just as many men dislike thin women, it seems lots of women reject the stereotype of a muscle-bound man. I no. like a man who's yes. toned, but not like where they've got the veins popping out. I don't like big, muscled men. They're a bit scary and they can't walk properly. They walk with their arms like that. I like them to be toned and have like a bit of muscle, mm. but not like really... And nice feet. arms. Yeah, and nice arms. arms. Mm. Definitely. So, no, seriously, I don't really mind as long as it's the... Um, no, it's not. No, it's the personality that counts. Oh, of course no. it is. <laughs> but tall, dark, and some more like super we are.